Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. I've been gone for a while and I apologize. You know, when I'm on my finals and I'm on college plus doing my practice and you know and all that stuff, it's just ugh. It takes a lot of, out of me. But uh here we are again. Here we are, and I hope you guys have been patient. Anyways, I did promise last time when we did our last video on a tutorial on, on how to emulate games on your Steam Deck. I hit the microphone on how to emulate uh games on the steam deck if you can see on the screen you can see i'm playing pokemon brilliant diamond and uh once it boots up uh, i'm gonna show you how i did that uh because i feel like a lot of tutorials just show you how to install emu deck on on the steam deck but they don't show you the full process i'm just compiling pre-compiling a lot of uh stuff here but once it's done, the game will run fluently and there'll be no problem whatsoever. <laughs> As you can see, the game is loading and I'm not just playing the game. I'm also playing a modded version of this game, which is called uh, Renegade Platinum, I think. Luminescent Platinum, which is a mod. So I'm playing Pokemon Renegade Platinum. The, the game uh, and the image is a little stretched out. I try to fix it on... OBS, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the way that I am uh, screen capturing the, the Steam Deck. Maybe it's the cable. Maybe. I, I don't know. But this is the way. If you guys have any idea on how to fix this, please let me know down in the comments. But as of, as of now, I think it accomplishes the purpose of what I'm trying to what I'm trying to relay over here, which is that uh, you can play Switch games here. You're playing Pokemon games. Let me just show you a little bit. The gameplay here no lagginess no stuttering or anything obviously pay in mind it's the steam deck so you cannot like some some of the switch games will struggle a little bit i tried playing zelda uh you can get it to work natively like a switch can but um you need to install the few mods like the 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 60 or 30 FPS one and all that stuff. I had to delete it because I have it. I have it on my Switch. This Legend of Zelda, I don't need it on the Steam Deck. And uh, but games like this where you can mod them and stuff and you want it on the go, Steam Deck is the way to go. Anyways, I think this accomplishes the purpose of what I'm trying to do. Anyways, if you want to get out of here, you just press the Steam, go over here down and go exit game, and you just exit out of the game. Um, it's it's over here with the launched titles. If we go here to library and we go to non Steam Deck, we got Brilliant Diamond here. It's duplicated for some reason, but I'll get it working later. Anyways, uh, this Pokemon game is just Kalos Crystal. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, this is just, you know, you can play a bunch of games in here. I've been lately playing uh, Dentist Inferno. But, anyways, oh, by the way. Sorry if my energy is not up. It's currently, it says 8.32 a.m., but it's actually 7.32 a.m. in my house. So it's really early. Anyways, let me show you what you need to do. If you come from a previous video where how to install the emulation aspect into Steam Deck, I will put the link into the description of that video because I'm not going to explain how to install Ryu Jinx on the Steam Deck right now. That video explains how to do it because we do it via Emu Deck. But we want to go to this to the desktop. Basically, I hit the Steam button, I go down to power, and pick desktop. Okay, and we're in the desktop right now. Uh, like I said, we use Emu Deck to install it. Anyways. It's pretty simple. What you want to do is once the once Emu Deck is installed, you want to go to all applications. You want to look for Ryujinx, which is on the R. Ryujinx binary, right? You want to click on that. Steam is updated. <laughs> but you want to open Ryujinx, basically. And, and here is where you will be dealing with uh, Rayu Jinx. Let's make it bigger. You guys can see. 
but in here is where you're gonna be dealing with Ryu Jinx. Ryu Jinx, uh, from the rip, it will not work. It will not. Uh, it will not. It just will not work because you you'll need your firmware and you'll need your keys and titles. So essentially, when Emu Deck installs Ryu Jinx on Ryu Jinx on your Steam Deck, it just does that. It just installs it, but the rest of the, the work you gotta do it. So. For purposes of legality and legal reasons, I cannot show you how to get the games and I cannot show you how to get the firmware and the title and product keys. I just can't. Okay, so I've seen people in the comments uh, on other people's videos commenting like, oh, the tutorial was great, but didn't tell us where to find the keys and the firmware. I cannot do it for legal reasons. I don't want to get banned. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to get flagged. I just can't. So, just a disclaimer, I will not be providing firmware and product keys. You can find them on your own with a good Google search. They're really easy to get. Even there's Reddit, there's Reddit uh, forums and all that stuff that will provide you the links for it. YouTube is not the place, trust me. Uh, I will highly suggest that you go into Google and find them on your own, okay? <laughs> In my previous video, I think I did provide a link to a page on the for Emu Deck. This is getting annoying. Thank you. Uh, and it it provided uh, everything you needed for a Switch. Not saying what, but I think it provided everything if you look around enough. Anyways, once you're in here. And once you have your product keys and your firmware for this, you need both. So pause the video if you don't have them yet. Pause the video, down, download them or, you know, export them to a location. And then what you want to do is go to action, right? Install keys. And you can install them from a zip file. The version you downloaded is from a zip file. You will go here. Right, and let's say I got him on download train. And then here, I have it right here. I have it in both folder version and from and zip version. If you have it a zip version, just dot zip file, you click on it. I did it, I did it wrong. For the firmware, you picked the firmware obviously, and for the keys, you picked the keys. Do that. Sorry, and for the for the firmware, I mean for the keys, go here and look for the keys. And in this in this version, I have product keys. Net, just do that. If it's a SIM file, hit yes. Okay. And then if you have it in folder form, pretty easy. Install keys from a directory. That means it's from a folder. You have the folder. Again, just look where you have your folder. Uh, downloads. In this case, in my case, downloads. Then I have the product keys on a folder. Just hit on it and put it in an OK. And that's it. And the same, and the same thing with the firmware. Install from a directory instead of zip file. If you have a folder, look for the folder where you have your keys. In my case, again, I have it on downloads. Go here, firmware. We got the firmware right here. Let me click on it so you guys can see. And instead of, I'm hitting cancel because I already installed it, but you can hit OK. And that's that. That's basically uh, how you do. Uh, Ryu Jinx. Now, to make the games uh, appear on Steam, right on the Steam Deck, it's pretty simple. You want to go here, your application launcher, go to all applications, and let's look for the Steam ROM Manager. You say yes. It's just going to close down Steam. It's okay. Let's make this bigger 
And in my case, I already have the Nintendo Switch Ryu Jinx. But if you if you don't have it here, right? In my case, I already added it. But if you don't have it here, like I got explained um, in the previous video. All you want to do is create a parser. Go here where it says community presets. For some reason, <clears throat> it was having trouble finding the parsers or the community presets. All I had to do was close that and open it a few times and it came back up by itself. Uh, anyways, once you're in here in the community presets, so you're gonna be like this. Once you, you're here, click it and go down to Nintendo. Once you find Nintendo, you're gonna look for Nintendo Switch. So obviously it's gonna be under the Nintendo SNES. And you're gonna do Ryu Jinx. Just regular Ryu Jinx, okay? Ryu Jinx. And once you're in Ryu Jinx, it's gonna say path to ROMs. So that's pretty easy. You go where your Nintendo Switch ROMs are. So usually that's where. Emulation, right? ROMs. You look for Switch. In this case, it's Switch. You click Switch. Open. That will set it up. Right? And then you go for the executable. Have to Ryu Jinx EXE. Then you go to Browse. You go to Applications. And then you look for Ryu Jinx on the applications. If I'm not mistaken. And if you don't know where it is, like I am right now, see, I, I just have no idea where my Ryu Jinx is. It's pretty simple. I go here. All applications, right? And let's look for Ryu Jinx here in the all applications because I just don't know where it is. I lost it. Go. So, and look for a Jinx binary. Right click on it. Is it edit application? Yeah, it says edit application. And it's gonna be here. Home, deck, local, share applications. The home, deck, locals, share applications. So it is here on the applications one. So it might be on the publish. Here it is, publish. We pick Ryu Jinx. There you go. Open. And then make sure you have your ROMs. And it should add the game. Okay. I'm not going to add it because I already have it. Then once you're done with that, you want to go to add games. Hit parse. And I'll add all of these. See? Uh, if you don't see like the title, like their cover art and stuff all you gotta do is go fix and then over here where it says uh search steam grid db you can start going down here look for them and then you go uh save and close and then save to steam little error occurring to add into steam what happened there? Anyways, it should save for you. And once you're done, you go back to Steam. And it should pop up. You're back to big picture. Yeah, Brilliant Diamond. We hit it. And the game should be booting up. You can mess up with the settings on Ryu Jinx. Over there. I didn't mess up with the settings. Because like I said, the Steam Deck, you know graphical settings and stuff but i'm pretty sure but but there's like communities uh focused on the steam deck as an emulator and they'll have enough information out there if you're having problems with laggy games and stuff just go on the steam deck community pages i'm pretty sure they'll help you out uh the internet is really useful like um, if you don't know what to do, a good Google search will help you out. Uh, again, if you're having troubles, let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to... I'll try my best to help you out. <laughs> I don't have all the answers, but we can find them together, right? Uh, 
I want to try and build a community here on YouTube where people can help each other and I can help you guys enjoy games the best way possible. Yeah, this was a chilled video. Uh, I don't think there's a lot to do here because I already did the beefiest part of emulating in the Steam Deck on a previous video. Like I said, I'll be linking that video down and by the end of the screen, have that live video up if you're interested in watching it and how to add games on your steam library it's pretty similar to what we did right now uh, but i do show you the entire process of installing the emu deck on that video anyways guys i think this is this is all we can do for now thank you guys for watching and stay safe be safe stay awesome see you guys later thank you for watching you think i deserve the subscription from you consider doing so trying to grow on youtube and like i said build a community where people can help each other out and we can i don't know grow together take care guys love you guys peace out